Welcome back to Lara Academy, this is Mickey, and today we're going to be taking a look at subdomains in Laravel Valet. To get started, if we load up our console and take a look at the directories, you can see that I only have one directory called My App. And this is it here. Let's pretend we want to add api.myapp.dev. With the way the Valet works, we can just create a new directory called api.myapp, and it will automatically do this for us. For this instance, I will just copy the Laravel project My App into a new folder called api.myapp. Once this finishes the copying, if we do an ls, you can see that we have two directories, and if we give a refresh, you can see we have from myapp.dev. Now let's just use the console here, and let's change the welcome screen. So I'm going to edit resources, views, welcome.blade.php, and go all the way down to the bottom, I just changed the welcome message to from api.myapp.dev. Let's save this out and give our page a refresh just to prove it's coming from api.myapp.dev. We can refresh our original and it hasn't changed. Congratulations, you just created your first subdomain in Laravel Valet. Now, I've seen this a couple times where some people want to send the exact same subdomain to the original domain. Well, this again is still very simple and you don't have to have duplicate code. How we can accomplish this is by loading up the console. And for this example, let's get rid of api.myapp.dev. So we'll just delete it. And so what we want to do next is we want to create a symbolic link. So we use ln minus s to create the symbolic link. We want to create the link to my app, so the directory and let's name it api.myapp. If we do an ls, you can see that we have two folder structures in here. But what's actually happened is api.myapp is really just a pointer to my app. So when we try and cd into there, we're actually changing the directory into my app. So if we switch back to Chrome and we load up our two sites, you will see that refreshing api.myapp will change our welcome page to what it was originally. And this is the same welcome page found on myapp.dev. So now you can use Laravel's routes in a single app to generate items from api.myapp or the regular domain myapp.dev. Thanks for watching.